through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows ekphrastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 244. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of April 9th. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, I'd say a decent week. Not, not bad. Not bad. Kind of, uh, kind of some curious releases, some good stuff, but mm -hmm. not great release. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a mix. And point. then a Criterion because because you, know. you need that to yeah. carry. The you got to balance it out. Yeah, you got to have that heavy duty <laughs> Criterion at the end. Um, start with though uh, one that's. Of personal attachment to me, and I guess you're starting to get into <laughs> yeah, and that is recently. season five of Merlin. Yes, this is the final season. Right? The final right, season. They canceled it. Yes, uh, which is sort of weird uh, since they've talked about doing spinoff shows hmm. about the Knights of the Round Table and stuff going off in that direction, which makes sense. Yes, this is for those who haven't seen the show. Essentially, the build up to uh, Arthur becoming king, yeah. Merlin becoming to so the common great Arthurian wizard. legend that we know. This is like the prequel in yeah. a way. Um, Emma's youngins. Emma's youngins. It's it's a great series from the BBC, I believe, was mm -hmm. the original production company. Um, Thirteen episode seasons, which yes. is kind of a unique. Yeah, especially for, for BBC. England. Mm -hmm. uh, Five seasons, which is kind of unique as well, mm -hmm. but um, kind of amazing it, it lasted that long. It's kind of amazing it lasted <laughs> that long. It's a it's a wonderful show. I mean, it's it does have a bit of filler episodes, but when it's on, it is amongst my favorite shows on television. Which you've like, spoken of before, yeah, yes. it's it's really great. Unfortunately, this release. As far as I could tell, has no special features. Oh, like, I looked all over the internet, sad. which is curious. And this isn't to say definitively this is not true. Mm -hmm. The but reason I say that, release. yeah, this, the reason I say that is because season four had audio commentaries, deleted scenes, outtakes, storyboards, and I kind of suspect there might be some of that. But as far as I could tell from uh, their disc what, reviews. BBC America hmm. disc reviews. Uh, announcements of it, like there's nothing essentially wow. announced thus far. So I, I find that unlikely. The the it comes with a small vial of its fans' tears. Over yeah, that'd be great. Uh, they're all mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nevertheless, you know, um, the majority of the series is already on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Instead, if you want to watch that, I think the first four series seasons. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, I probably would hold off and wait to make sure that there are special features mm -hmm. on this release before I'd buy it. Otherwise, it's probably worth renting at the very yeah. least because it's a great show. And I, I mean, it's sad that it's over, mm -hmm. but it's it's a great one to Six. check out. Single tier. Yeah, single tier. That never stops flowing. That's for ten <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> Moving right along, mm -hmm. we're going to do the uh, historical yes. docudrama from last year, Hyde Park on Hudson, mm -hmm. which is about the... Um, the uh, Rose FDR of the, and um, what the king, Queen, I believe, King of England, King, king of yes. England uh, yes. from King's Speech, actually. Oh yes, that's um, right. Getting together, and you know, this stars Bill Murray mm -hmm. as FDR, uh, Samuel West as the King. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's if you're into period pieces, I yes. guess you know it's 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 okay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting to see Bill Murray in a period piece. Mm -hmm. I will say that it does have Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, ultraviolet, all in one. So that's something. That uh, adi something right? Additionally, there's about seven minutes of deleted scenes. Hmm. There is a first days featurette, which is a first person account by director Robert Michelle, hmm. uh, detailing a mini autobiography. It's more or less an audio supplement, which consists of him talking about directing a cast as they appear on screen. Interesting. So, sort of like a mini com audio commentary. Hmm. And then there, of course, is an audio commentary, of course, with him and the producer, Kevin Loader. Um, which is apparently very conversational, which is cool. You know, we enjoy it's, conversations. It's not, <laughs> it's not a feature-packed yes. one, but it's got some of those basics that you kind of come to enjoy, like uh, deleted scenes and audio commentary. Plus, it's got all the formats. So, if you're a big fan of yes. the movie already, or you're a fan of period pieces, this or might Bill make Murray. A, or Bill Murray. Yeah, <laughs> never hurts to have a little Bill Murray in your life. Plus, you got like Laura Lenny. A few other people are yeah, in it's it. It's pretty so well cast, but I don't well know cast. how well it did. I don't think it was a huge hit at the box so office, either. but I mean, I mean, how often are period pieces like $400 Lincoln. million? Do well, oh, oh, snap. Oh, yeah. That's why this movie probably didn't do as well, because the shadow of Lincoln. Um, you're probably right, but, uh, you know, nevertheless, it, it it's it's pretty decent release. Mm -hmm. It's not great, mm -hmm. but decent. 
Uh, kind of going more towards the indie realm, yes. we have Into the Cold, A Journey of the Soul, <laughs> which is a story retracing the personal and harrowing expedition of two men on foot to the North Pole in sub-zero temperatures cool. to commemorate the centennial of Admiral, Admiral Perry's reach mm. in 1909. It's a journey of endurance and commitment in the North, uh, uh, in the depth of soul against the backdrop of a magnificent and unforgiving rapidly vanishing great north <laughs> um i do want to note that this is a totally homegrown film from wow. start to finish entirely self-funded shot on the fly documenting Dang. sebastian and keith or uh, sebastian copeland and keith hedger's uh north pole expedition the narration apparently is also almost entirely lifted directly from sebastian's journals <laughs> which is pretty cool wow um fascinating and you know it was one of those things that apparently they were gonna do it, and they just felt, you know, well, we should document this, and so like, it we're wasn't gonna really, do it, and let's just record it. Yeah, it wasn't really planned to be, you know, make a it film. into a movie. Yeah, so that's sort of after the fact. That's pretty cool. Um, I will note though that in terms of special features, it only has uh, a promotional film for Sebastian Copeland's book Antarctica: The Global Warming, hmm. which is not a heck of a lot, but you know, granted, this is this is as indie as you really yeah. get, and the topic yeah. is kind of phenomenally interesting and kind of an amazing journey like yeah I, people I, don't do that journey very often for a reason or it's do things that dangerous. are that yeah dangerous like so it's it's really kind of unique and interesting and sort of see the difference between you know something in 1909 to now is yes worlds apart like that is not the same journey anymore, <laughs> not, you know, yeah. factor global warming and whatnot. Yeah. so it sounds pretty cool and i wonder I'm if it's easier or harder now I would say harder because of global warming. Hmm. I would think there'd be, the ice would be thinner and stuff. You'd have to be yeah, much more careful in the you route. couldn't get across. Yeah, or, so yeah. I would mention, but it, sound, it sounds pretty awesome. This yes. is the kind of stuff that you want to see documentaries yes. made of, so that's pretty sweet. Um, finally, that brings us to the Criterion release yes. of the week, and that is Naked Lunch. Ah. We're talking at David Cronenberg mm -hmm. here. Probably uh, my favorite. Well, I would say probably one in my top favorites, Cronenberg. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And this is uh, after developing an addiction to the substance <laughs> uses to kill bugs, an exterminator accidentally murders his wife and becomes involved in a secret governmental plot being orchestrated by giant bugs in a port town in North Africa. The Mugwumps. Yeah, if that isn't one of the coolest plot synopses. William that's Burroughs ever. book, so yeah. first off, crazy. No, it's crazy. And then Peter Weller playing with Cronenberg directing. Got all of There's a reason it's a criterion release. You got all sorts of like other people too. Uh, Ian Holm, Roy Scheider, mm -hmm. Judy Davis. It's a great cast. It's a crazy idea. Yeah. You got David Cronenberg, who's one of the most interesting directors. It's a very work. visually uh, disturbing film. I think I think this actually might have been the first Cronenberg I saw, and a friend of mine just found out I hadn't seen the mm -hmm. Cronenberg, didn't tell me what it was about, rented it, made me watch it. Never looked back yeah. in a bad way. Interestingly enough, the uh, mugwumps, the little weird creature typewriter bugs, uh, created, co-created, or one of the people working on it was uh, Jamie Heineman. So wow. there's mugwumps in the backgrounds of Mythbusters. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, because he worked on the animatronics for it. We should uh, note that this is a Blu-ray bump. Yes. So the DVD version of this came out, I think, in 2003, so think it's so. about 10 years ago. Um the HD transfer was approved by David Cronenberg. Yes, it was. Um, so that speaks to something. You know, it's got some of the other stuff that I had before, though, like an audio commentary from Cronenberg and Peter Weller, mm -hmm. which, I mean, talk about what you want. That's exactly what exactly. you want. Uh, there's a documentary, uh, Naked Making Lunch, uh, by Chris Rodley about the making of the film, which is pretty sweet to have another film on yeah. top of a film all yeah. together. Uh, collection Thank you, of Criterion. A, yeah. Uh, there's a collection of original marketing materials, which I think is super cool. That's neat. For something as unique and curious yeah. as this, to actually have something like that. To I see how they tried to market it. Totally. It seems like a really <laughs> interesting uh, approach. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, there's an audio recording of William S. Burroughs reading from his novel, Naked Lunch, which seems pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, because so, the dude was kind of a nutcase. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> to get to get the, the story straight from the source yeah. is pretty spectacular. And to hear him say it, you'll probably, you're probably you probably going to hear it and be like, oh, yeah, 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 that sounds like the person who wrote this book. Sounds, sounds about insane. right. Yeah, yep, sounds uh -huh. about what I'd imagine. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's a classic, you know, criterion. Uh, good film, mm -hmm. good quality special yes. features. You know they know how to do it right. And this, this what is what we call the the rundown pick of the week. Yeah, I don't know if so there is actually uh, that, but no, we're going to say, we're totally say it that. Now. As much as I like Merlin, yeah, uh, without knowing about the special features, this seems like a pretty yeah. easy choice to me. So check it off. Check it. Check it. <laughs> and uh, 
that ends it for this mm-hmm. week. Join us uh, at the end of this week yes, for Friday. our discussion of baseball movies in honor of the release of 42. Yes. And uh, as always, you can find us at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, uh, phone number 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Blip.tv. We're on Miro. We're on Roku. Checking to get glue. Get some badges. Get some badges or stickers or what have you. Yeah. Leave some reviews on iTunes. <laughs> Bug us on YouTube. We love that. And uh, catch you next time. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the side of Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.